Hello everyone, welcome back. Today's multimeter review is the Sanwa CD732 digital multimeter that hails out of Japan. Not only does it come from Japan, it is made in Japan. Um, we'll start with what comes in the box. You get the user manual, um, fairly decent, good quality, verbose in Japanese and English. Um, nice schematics, very well done. Um, an excellent uh, manual, better than most that come with multimeters, that they even do come with multimeters. For instance, the new uh, Fluke 87.5s, uh, no manual. Um, you have to download it from the internet, but that being said, um, for what it is, it's, it's a handy little reference. Um, also, you get these wonderful They're one of my favorites. Uh, really nice, gold-tipped, sharp, pointy. Um, feel great in the hand. These and the Probe Masters are my favorite probes at this time. I really enjoy these Sanwa probes. Um, great. I, I can uh, uh, utilize them all day long. Um, multimeter itself, aesthetically speaking, it's a little different than your average multimeter. Um, you can tell right away it's got an unusual look. San was thinking out of the box. Um, I like it. You have a spring-controlled amperage mechanism here um, to protect you from putting in the wrong probe. Um, that being said, the selector switch, very user-friendly, can be utilized, uh, controlled with just your thumb, and has a nice, uh, a nice feeling to it. I really like the uh, selector knob. The display itself, um, to make note first, there is no backlight, unfortunately. Sanwa thought it wasn't necessary, so um, you do have a really nice, crisp, um, high-res um, LCD display. I really like it. Um, very easy on the eyes. And even in low-light conditions, I've had no problem reading this display. So even though there is no backlight, um, it's not a deal-breaker, at least not for me. Um, in terms of functionality, it measures up to 60 mega ohms for resistance. Capacitance is 4,000 microfarad. And um, uh, has all the other... Uh, features you would normally expect on a mid-level to high range multimeter. DC volts, AC volts, hertz, duty cycle, diode testing, capacitance, resistance, continuity, and amperage. The amperage rating on this goes up to 15 amps. Um, so all in all, um, really nice. You've got your uh, data hold, your range hold, and your selector switch. Um, so in terms of functionality, perhaps a little bit sparse compared to what's out there nowadays, but um, I really like it. I like Sanwa products, I think they're great. Um, the chipset that's utilized in this uh, multimeter is the FS9922-DMM4. Uh, it's from Fortune Analog. Uh, the same uh, IC that's used in, I believe, the Vichy V99 and a host of other uh, DIMMs. Uh, it's proven uh, IC, uh, capable and reliable and uh, yeah, that's what Sanwa uses. Sanwa, as far as I know, they don't um, R&D or make their own ICs. They uh, leave that to third parties, uh, unlike Hayoki. But um, I can't complain. Overall, uh, this meter uh, was approximately about $120 US, about 150 Canadian. And um, uh, I think it's a great piece of kit. So we'll do a couple quick measurements. Um, start with a high precision resistor. So we'll put it into ohms mode. We're on the resistance scale already. Put in our wonderful Sanwa probes. This is a 200 ohm, 1% high precision resistor. And we'll just try that out quickly. There we go, fairly fast, um, 199.1.0, so within spec. Um, I have a simple red LED, put onto the LED setting, diode setting. See if it will light up the LED, yes it does. And the forward voltage drop is being displayed as well. It uh, will not measure over 4,000 microfarad. Um, so that being said, uh, as any multimeter has its limits, 
but um, I find the range fairly useful. Um, uh, very good quality. What we're going to do now, we're going to bring in Mr. Fluke and we're just going to do a quick side-by-side -side voltage comparison. See how they compare against each other. Already, I'll just attach the Sanma probes to the DC power supply. Okay, so right now we're at 4.8 volts. I'll put this guy back to the DC volts. And right now I've got the backlight on, the Fluke. And um, if I turn the backlight off, I think you can tell that the Sanwa display is actually crisper, cleaner looking, easier on the eyes. Um, obviously, it's better on the Fluke when you have the light activated on the Fluke. But that being said, without the light, definitely the Sanwa has a nicer, crisper display. So thumbs up, Sanwa. Okay, so here we go with the voltage. So right now we're at 5.1 volts. 5.143, 5.152, 5.5 volts. Okay, bring it up to, let's try 10 volts. 10.13, 10.14. Now we're up to 16.2 volts. 16.3, 16.3. Pretty well neck and neck. 19 volts. 19.2 volts, 23.1 volts according to the DC power supply, 23.19 for the Fluke, 23.23 for the Sanwa, and now we're at 28 volts even, 28.0, 28.1, and I'm going to max it out I think at 31.5, my power supply doesn't go any higher, 31.6, 31.6. So there you have it, so fairly close. Um, no complaints there. The refresh rate on the uh, Sanwa is very fast. Uh, excellent, excellent refresh rate. Thank you, Mr. Fluke, as always. And uh, last but not least, we're going to do a quick take a look inside of the Sanwa. Because as my grandma used to say, there's something very therapeutic about opening up a multimeter. Oh, no, she didn't really say that, but... Now, I have previously taken out the one screw. There's only one screw in the back, and it goes right there. And it looks like this. And it goes into a steel insert. So, that's good. And as you can see here, made in Japan. Alrighty. So once you take out the one screw, it comes up nice and easy. Voila. You have your two door, two door cell batteries at the top. One thing you notice right away, which is slightly disappointing, is there is no um, um, protection for uh, interference. Uh, too bad. Um, they should have had a little bit of shielding in there, but Samwa chose not to put any shielding in. So that's slightly disappointing. Um, there's the daughter board and the main circuit board. The uh, batteries obviously connect here. And here's the daughter board, and it is screwed in by these two Phillips screws here. That's what holds the uh, connector probes in. Uh, you've got a nice SEBA fuse, and it's a 16 amp. I wasn't sure, but it is. It's a 16 amp SEBA fuse. So you're getting your 16 amps worth of protection, input protection there. And you've got a nice uh, PTC here, another SEBA 400 milliamp fuse over here. Uh, this is your uh, speaker. Uh, we have a crystal on top. And I'm trying to see what else we have in terms of input protection. Um, you, see, you can see the brass insert is inside. Um, I'm not going to take out the um, circuit board um, any more than this. Um, I will try and do it perhaps later and I'll post some pictures. Um, but overall, very, very nice, very clean very um very japanese in terms of the actual uh, layout very nice very clean um, i've got no complaints and once again the ic here is the fs9922 dmmm4 from fortune um, 
So there you have it. So we'll just put the unit back together. Put the top on. The standing bale, by the way, is very nice. It doesn't flop around, it's sturdy. Yeah, I like it a lot. So, let's have a quick breakdown once again of the Sanwa CD7. 3.2 multimeter from Japan. Uh, I'm going to give it out of five star review. I'm going to give it one star for the overall construction. It's well made. Great holster. Feels good. Nice electric switch. Um, very nice display. Uh, no qualms about anything. Ease of use. Another one star. Very intuitive. Good controls. Um, can be operated with one thumb. Nothing bad to say. Features. Um, your standard multimeter. Maybe spec wise a little bit better. Um, does do the 60 mega ohms, uh, 4000 microfarad, 16, uh, 15 amp rated, even though they're giving us 16 amp fuse, so they're actually over protecting what they're stating, which is great. Um, that being said, um, there's no backlight, so I know that's going to put some people off. Um, so without the backlight, uh, it's going to lose a half star. Um, input protection, um, nice uh, input protection, PTCs, um, 16 amp fuse. Um, I, I like it. I, I feel safe. It's Japanese. I have no qualms about putting this into a high voltage source. Full one star for input protection. And finally, price availability and warranty. Another full star. I paid about 150 US. I'm sorry, uh, 120 US, about 145, 50 Canadian. And I think it's great bang for the buck. Um, made in Japan, high quality. You can tell as soon as you pick it up, this thing is going to last you a lifetime. So uh, full one star. So overall, it's 4.5 stars out of five for the Sanwa CD732. Thanks for watching. Until next time, keep on testing.